in this lecture you're going to learn about bind method in javascript so in the last lecture we learned that we can use call and apply method to set the value of this variable explicitly to point to another object we can do the same thing with bind method so bind method is also used to set the value of this variable explicitly to point to another object but the difference between call apply and bind is that the bind method does not execute the function immediately instead it creates or it generates a copy of that function and then we can store it in a variable and we can use it later in our program let's understand bind method with an example so here we are using the same example from our previous lecture we have this john object with this name age and occupation property and it also has this greetings method and inside this greetings method we are using this variable now we also have another object called mark and this mark object also has this name age and occupation property but it does not have this greetings method now what we are doing here is using this call and apply method we are setting the value of this variable inside this greetings method to point to mark object okay now this call and apply method sets the value of this variable and it executes the method or the function immediately okay so here we saw when we use call and apply method it set the value of this variable to point to mark object and it executed that method this greetings method immediately and we have this message logged in the console now let's go ahead and let's call bind method on this greetings method so let's say john dot greetings dot bind and for this bind method also the first parameter is the object to which we want this variable to point to so here we want this variable inside this greetings method to point to mark object so we have passed mark object as the first parameter here then the rest of the arguments of this bind method is the value for the method parameter so this greetings method is taking two parameters style and time of day and we can pass the value of these two parameters separated by comma so for the style parameter let's say formal and for time of day parameter let's say morning now let's go ahead and let's save the changes and here you will notice that nothing is logged in the console because this bind method does not execute the method on which we are calling it immediately okay so this call and apply executed this greetings method immediately but this bind method does not execute the method on which we are calling it immediately instead it will return a copy of that function which we can store in a variable so this bind method will return a copy of this greetings function so let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable and let's maybe call this variable greet and let's go ahead and let's log this variable in the console to see what it stores if i save the changes you can see that this function this greetings function has been logged here and now on this greet variable since it is storing that function we can simply use parenthesis and we can execute that function so now if i go ahead and save the changes you can see that the message good morning ladies and gentlemen my name is mark and i'm 30 years old designer this formal message has been logged in the console okay so here using bind method we set the value of this variable inside this greetings function to point to mark object okay and then this bind method returned a copy of that function which we stored inside this greet variable and then later we are calling that function that the copy of that function by using a set of parentheses on this greet variable so this is how bind method works okay it sets the value of this variable explicitly to point to another object and then it returns a copy of that function now you might ask why do we need to do something like this why can't we call the function immediately well here we have an advantage so the advantage is if you notice when we are setting the value of this variable explicitly to point to mark object here using this bind method we are also passing the value for this 
style and time of day parameter of this greetings method. So using this bind method, we are actually presetting the value of style and time of day parameter. Okay, so the function which this bind method will return in that function, the value of style and time of day parameter will be preset to formal and morning. And that's why when we are calling this function on this greet variable, we do not have to pass the value for style and time of day parameter. Okay, now let's say we have a requirement where we want to set the value of this variable to point to mark object. And the value of style should always be formal. Okay, the value of time of day parameter can be anything, but the value of this style parameter should always be formal. So what we can do is, let me first comment these codes from here. Okay, and let's now go ahead and call this bind method on this greetings method again. So for that, let's say John dot greetings dot bind. And we want to set the value of this variable inside this greetings method to point to mark object. So that will be the first parameter of this bind method. And we want the value of style parameter to always be formal. So here, let's pass formal. Now, I'm not going to pass a value for time of day parameter here. Okay. Now, what this bind method will do? It will return a copy of this greetings method. And in that copy, the, the value of the style parameter will be preset to formal. So, let's store that you know that copy of that function in a variable and maybe let's call it greet2 okay so inside this greet2 we are storing a copy of this greetings function and in that copy the value of the style parameter is preset to formal okay now let's go ahead and let's call this greet2 okay now here we can pass the value for time of day parameter. So let's say time of day is morning. Okay, let's save the changes. And here you can see it has logged. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark and I'm 30 years old designer. Okay, now let's go ahead and call this greet2 again. And this time, let's set it to evening. Let's save the changes. And again, you can see, good, on, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark and I'm 30 years old designer. So in both these cases, this greet method, you know, the function, the method stored in this greet2 variable, the style is preset to formal. And that's why it is logging a formal greeting message. The only thing which is changing here is the time of day. So this is one advantage of using bind method okay using bind method we can return a function where the value of some of the parameters are preset so the advantages of using bind method is that since the bind method returns a copy of the function on which we are calling it we can use that function anytime in our program whenever we need it and the second advantage is that we can preset the value of some of the parameters when using bind method Okay, so this is what bind method is in JavaScript. If you have any question related to bind method, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.